Let's have a look at writing files in Java. It's actually just one way of writing files, but it's a really easy one, so it's a good one to start off with. What we need is a special class, the so-called file writer. It really does way promise, huh? So we're going to say new file writer. And we are going to write to a file name first file.txt. There we go. Oh no. There is a red line. What's going on? It says unhandled exception, Java IO exception. You should have heard from exceptions by now. If you haven't, please check out the video on exceptions. And let's handle this exception well. So we're going to surround this file writer with the so-called try catch block. So let's go for try and then let's catch the possible IO exception that might occur like this. And um, Let's just uh, nah. Let's just say e dot print sec trace like this. So here we are having our file writer, but we're not actually writing to a file yet. So let me show you how to do it. It's actually really easy. We can simply say, let's write hi. I'm writing to a file. This is so cool. And then we should not forget to close our file reader like this. And well, yeah, that's it actually. So let's run this. And please watch this here, because this is where our file will appear. So we are running our main. And you see our first file has appeared over here and it contains the message, hi, I'm writing to a file. This is so cool exactly as I specified in our main method. So it's working. How great is that? But if it would throw an exception right now, it would never close our file writer. So that's a pity. We would be better off using a so-called try with resources. And if we do that, we are actually opening our file writer within our try statement, so to say. We can remove the close. It is also gray now, just indicating that this is uh, it says it's redundant. We don't need it because it is closing it. Why? Well, this is a very special way of opening a try, and this can only be done for things that are so-called auto-closable. Look, this one is auto-closable. Hold on. So it extends output stream writer, which extends writer, which implements closable and closable. This look extends auto closable, which is weird by the way, because you would expect this to be the other way around, but don't mind that. It's auto closable, and therefore we can use it in the so called try with resources syntax. You can open multiple things over here, and they are actually being closed in the opposite order they were opened. So I could have multiple file writers, for example, like this, but I only need one. So this really tiny piece of syntax, this is already enough to write to a file and to create something that persists even after our application is being shut down. How cool is that? Well, it can be even cooler because we can also read from our file. So let me remove all this here. And you probably won't be too shocked if I say that there's a special class in Java for that and that is called file reader. So let's create a new file reader like this. And here I'm going to specify what I'm going to read. And in this case, I'm going to read the file that we just uh, wrote. So there we go. And now the same thing is happening as before. Again, it says there's an unhandled exception. So this time I'm just going to use the try with resources from the start like this. And I'm going to catch the IO exception like this. Oh, forgetting to give it a name. E e dot print stack trace and then in here I'm going to specify the code for reading this file and that can actually be done in several ways and I'm just gonna go for the easiest one have a look it might be a bit complicated but in order to understand this it's important that we have a look at how this read method that's on here is working actually so let's go to the read method and what it says here, it reads a single character. 
and the character read or minus one if the end of the stream has been reached. So at the end of the file, the character is minus one. And incident is just reading it character by character by character. It's actually more methods, but they are not much of more help. So we'll have to read this file character by character. All right, let's do that then. So this is a place where you'll find the Y loop really often. So let's just create an int i and here we'll say while and we are going to say that i equals file writer dot read and we are going to say while that is not equal to minus one and while it's not e equal to minus one we are going to um, print the character that we just um, read so and we we stored it into i so we can simply say I like this but this might actually be a bit surprising let's have a look what's going on this doesn't look like or fall at all now does it well I said here that I am reading it and I'm storing it in an int so if you go to this method over here this read method we see that it's actually returning an int and what we want is a character, right? Because we want to read a character. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to cast this int to a char so that we'll actually see the char value of this int. So let's see if this makes more sense when we do this again. And yes, here we have the exact same contents of our file. Uh, first file, hi, I'm writing to a file. This is so cool. If you were to ask me, this is the easiest way of reading and writing a file for Beginners, you don't need to know much else, just that we have a class file reader, we have a class file writer, and you can easily set it up, make sure to catch the exception well, and you're all good to go for reading and writing files. Please try this for yourself and see how easy it is to interact with your file system. It really puts this new dimension to Java. Enjoy playing around with this.